So James, tell us a little bit why you were concerned with the potential for political violence and how this movement started. Well, and this is before the assassination attempt, okay? This is before that. Uh, I sensed, and you did too because I contacted you, that at the rate we're going here, every presidential election is about the negatives, about the candidates, and why, you, why, why the world's going to end if your candidate doesn't win. Yeah. And this has been going on for decades, but in this current temperature, which is really, and I'm not talking about global warming, it's really hot in terms of the emotional temperature in America. And the both ends, the, the, we'll call it the right and the left, have become completely separated and cauterized. And no matter what you say, all it does is fuel the fire. And the, the fire is generally hate and victimhood. Okay, okay. okay that, that's what we're looking at. And, and, and about six, six, seven months ago, I'm going, man, what's it gonna happen in November if Donald Trump gets elected? And I'm going, well, wait a minute. What's gonna happen if Joe Biden or a Democrat gets elected? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at maybe a civil war. Maybe, I don't know. But I called you, Peter, and you said to me, you know, huh, Jim, Jim, I've been thinking about exactly the same thing. And I'm going, bingo, the temperature in America is, is at the boiling point, if not boiling already. And we have to do something to get that simmered down. And I think okay. as Americans, we know enough and we know better and we have a better background or the kind of background where we can actually diffuse this. That's my belief. Well, as Jim said, you know, we've been watching things, uh, he says, uh, getting to the boiling point, and I think it's already boiling over. It's beginning to here in the last, uh, you know, last few days. And, you know, we've got so much division now, and mm -hmm. we, see, we see so many extreme things going on. You know, I, I'm a big believer about truth, as I know y'all are, and see, as, as we move away from truth, you move into extremes. We're going to do everything we can do to avoid a civil war. We need to try to reach out to the common sense working folks. I think there's things that they need to be thinking about. And I think, I think we need to be talking about it uh, with your neighbors, with the people that you work with, uh, really reaching out to the folks on the other mm -hmm. side and, uh, and uh, you know, be prepared. And, and, of course, we need to do a lot of praying about the situation, too. Okay. Norm brings up a great point. Uh, you do need to go local. First of all, you get to need you need to get to know your neighbors. A lot of us don't right. even know our neighbors. And that's where you can really have the most effect, the most control at the local level. Jordan Peterson has a quote that I absolutely love. It says, the world shifts itself around your aim. I'm aiming in November for a civil America. That's what I'm aiming for. And that's what I hope this project will accomplish. Right. So that's globalone.org forward slash pledge. And you can sign the pledge. You know, we also want you to help promote it among your email it out to folks. Social Wouldn't media. it be great if 100 million Americans said, yes, I pledge not to be involved in political violence um, during the election or in the next administration? Families have been further and further divided. And I'm hoping that we can look at this as an opportunity to bring the family back together, to, to take the opportunity to discuss this, not argue it, but discuss yeah. it. And I'm going to go now. to my in-laws who are in town and my son-in-law and my son and my daughter and my neighbors. And I'm going to say, you know, I don't know whether you've heard about this, not our pledge. And what do you think of that? And is there something you'd be interested in signing? Now, they don't have to sign. Okay, they don't have to sign that. I think the more questions we can ask, you know, what do you think might happen if, and, uh, you know, rather yeah. than barging in there and telling them, you know, what they better do and not do and all this. So, yeah, we usually learn more by, by listening than we do talking. We now have a common goal, which we didn't have before, and that is a, a civil society after November 5th. That should be acceptable on both sides. This will help to bring down the temperature, I think, because they've been made aware of it and they don't want to be wrong. And even if they don't sign it, 
that still doesn't mean that they, they have to protect their position. That we can have forums and discussions, even a safe place where people can come and share. They don't have to agree, but listen to each other. And that's one thing we want to foster as well um, through this election peace pledge. Because both sides will say that they were cheated in the election. Yeah. Both sides will say that. Regardless of the outcome, they're going to say that. And then one side may react violently. I, it, it's hard to say, but it, it really is, 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 I think, the ultimate in ununiting un this nation. And, and, and the media is fanning the, on both sides, conservative media, liberal media, they're fanning the flame. So, you know, they're, they're just trying to start a civil war, basically. Right. And yeah. But because of social media, as you know this, Sharam, you get in your little pigeonhole. Even the algorithm of Facebook only sends you information, verifies your opinion. You never talk to a moderate or a liberal. And same thing on the left-wing group. If all the social media and the algorithms send you news articles based on you, so you never hear anything else that, hey, there's some might be some decent Republicans out there or there might be some decent Democrats or independents, but I try to, you know, listen to you know, varying viewpoints. and But most people don't do that. They either watch Fox or they watch MSNBC or CNN, and that's all they get. would like to make a contribution would be phenomenal. What, and what are we going to do with this money? We're going to take the money we raise and we're going to be buying, you know, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, so that we can spread it 